The show of support for the victims of Friday's deadly shooting in New Zealand extends here to western New York. Good evening. A vigil tonight honored the 50 victims and demonstrated that hate is not accepted in the community. News 4's Marley Tuskis was at that vigil tonight. Marley. Erica, hundreds gathered this afternoon at a Getzville mosque to hold a vigil in remembrance for the victims of Friday's shooting in New Zealand. Organizers tell us they wanted their message to be clear that Western New York comes together in times of tragedy. Together, we are strong. Separate, we are ultimately vulnerable. Organizers say today's vigil was a way for the community to share prayer while reflecting on Friday's shooting at two New Zealand mosques. When you look at it, it has become a global village. And uh, the, the social media, the, you know, the news travels so fast, there is no time to rethink. So I think we have become one family and we feel the pain no matter where it is hit. They say their hope is that this is also the start of a greater discussion about tolerance and acceptance of one another. That Western New York community is an exemplary community for everybody. That if there's a nationally, if there's going to be an example, we are the example. We get together, we share each other's pains, we share each other's uh, aspirations, and we help each other out. Many of the faces in today's crowd come from different backgrounds. I'm not surprised that there is such an outpouring where we see every age, every faith, every tradition, every color under one roof. I am not surprised. However, I am reassured that the community that we have built, the community that we are still building, is all inclusive. The people in attendance say despite the attacks, they have hope for the future. I will continue to come here, to pray here, and to enjoy my second home. Ever since I was little, I have learned that I should, should leave my trust with God, or Allah, and in his house I should be safe, and I hope to continue to be safe. Today's vigil could be the start of many future events that aim to bring all community members together. Organizers say they want to keep dialogue open in order to continue to educate each other on different backgrounds and help build upon our acceptance of one another. Marley Tuskis, News 4.